the spirit of the Most High is greater than him, man. The Most High finds ways. You can't stop nothing from the Lord. So now it, they thought all this time that they had the nation of Israel where they had wanted, you know, as, as, a, uh, uh, as a prisoner, a slave, and dumbfounded. But nah, the Most High woke up the elect. By one, however it started, by one man and it, and it, and it bare fruit through, and it was believed, Abba Vivens. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, brother started adding on to, building it up more perfect. Is it going according to what we're speaking? Yeah, you were talking about how they get mad about it. Someone gets mad about how they... Oh, go ahead. This is Isaiah 44 and 24. It says, Thus that the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, and stretcheth forth the heavens alone, and spread it abroad the earth by myself, that frustrated the tokens of the liars, and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward, and maketh their knowledge foolish. Right, you know, so all these men that come up, they think they know something, but they get their feelings hurt because we're contrary to it, and we prove it through the scriptures. You know? And going to, to Esau, Esau is trying to keep the nation of Israel, these people on the side, from finding out the truth because he knows, the higher ups know that the Most High is for real. Okay? But just like these apostles, these uh, thick, wicked uh, 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 scribes and uh, Sadducees, they were trying to do just that. That's what I'm about to get into. They're trying to remove him from preaching the word, just like the brother bear witness. His older brother, this older man, bear witness that he know he knew that they moved us from uh, more than one spot. And for what? The word ain't hurting nobody, or we ain't hurting nobody. And it's the truth. But uh, I'm gonna go back to Acts 5 and 24. Now, when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them. They doubted of them where unto this would grow. See, and they got afraid started becoming doubtful like shaking in their boots like Esau just like Esau he's getting scared man he knows it's time short just like the scriptures say it's the time short all right and like right now you got all these fucking devils just giving us a uh, fucking looks like it's a fucking game this ain't no game man what's the most I gives us the spirit Lord with the elect the spirit of vengeance we're gonna fucking kill y'all motherfuckers man and you fucking kids all you little fucking badass kids, man. And you Edomites, you fucking devils, you burn it. Y'all the main, y'all got no fucking right to be getting mad and looking at us because y'all fucking kill kids. Y'all have abortion clinics out here killing little babies, man. All these fucking people driving around smiling, trying to, it, it ain't smiles of good smiles. They're smiles of like, like they're, 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 they're malicious, man. Fucking people, man. Let me get this for you. This is Ezekiel 9 and 5. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him to the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. All right, that's what's coming. That's what's coming. The spirit of vengeance is on this place, man. Not fully, but it's already on this place. It's already working in brothers, man. It's already working in two thirds, too. And the most I'm gonna use those two-thirds to kill their own two-third people. You know what I'm saying? It says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. The scriptures say that, man. So you can't turn around and be like, oh, y'all are bad. We're going to call a, 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 a police report on you. We're reading out of the Bible. The most is the one that threatens. He tells you that in second address. I threaten. Not us. Is the most I just puts the spirit in people to make a, a, a certain acts play out, man. Uh, verse 8, it says, And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left, and I fell upon my face, and cried, and said, Our Lord God, would thou destroy all the residue of Israel, and thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? And we know that he's not. He's gonna, he's gonna, he has a, 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 a remnant that's gonna be saved by grace. It says, then said he unto me, the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great. So it's the two-thirds are going to be destroyed. 
and the land is full of blood right and the, and the city of and the city full of perverseness but they say the Lord have forsaken the earth and the Lord see it not and as for me also my eyes should not spare right. neither and as for me also, mine eyes shall not spare. Neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. Right, has that happened? It has, and it's happened in, in, in past times. Like with the Romans, the Greeks, the Median Persian Empire, the Babylonians, the Egyptians. Who, who caused all that? It wasn't man himself. The Most High orchestrated that man played out on earth, man. The Most High threatens. We're just vessels. We're just messengers to giving you the message, warning you telling you this is what's going to happen, whether you want to believe it or not. So the Most High has already put it into action, but now in this time, this kingdom, he's going to make, put it into action again and destroy you, man. But I'm going to stay on point. This is Acts, going back to Acts chapter 5, verse 24. Go ahead and get it so you can read it. Because coming out here, man, we, we got we to gotta deal with this kind of bullshit. No. But it's all right, though, because we're doing it for the Lord, for the elect's sake. We ain't worried about you fucking two-thirds, man. We don't give a shit about y'all, man. This is Acts 5 and 24. Now, when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard, and the chief priests heard these things, they doubted of them were unto this grow. Right, they got scared, man. They started worrying about it. They started worrying because they know the power. They already heard, they already heard about Yahweh Shai resurrecting, man. Nobody knew where their bodies, although they were trying to come up with some, some lies, trying to uh, 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 create some kind of uh, uh, wicked or uh, imagination in their mind, a fable, man. Like, you know, like real quick on that scripture, like he's talking about, there's a, if you want that example, it's, it's in the last chapter of Matthew, when they when they had seen, when they had heard when the Pharisees or the chief priests heard that Yahweh Shai resurrected, they had they had gone they had, they had called for all the centurions in that land to come to them, and they said that uh, they were going to spread the lie and they were going to they actually paid they it was like they paid them off they paid them off to keep that lie they they told the centurions that if any man asks say that uh, they stole the body that the body was stolen and taken somewhere else, but like you know he's saying like they're they're afraid. That's what was, if you read that 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 little story right there, it, they were telling you that they were afraid of well, how he got out, you know, because they knew. They, they didn't knew want it. it. They didn't want it to be the truth. Yeah. They, because yeah. if they, they, they knew that it was, in the, it was the truth, they fucked up. That's why when you continue to read further in five, which you're going to still read, though, but Gamilio stood up for him saying that, you know, at least you fight against God if you mess with these men. This is the most size work. The all the creator, man. The creator of everything that you see here. You breathing in this oxygen, man. That's who you're gonna be fighting against. So Gamilio, he was he was wise in that sense. You fucking beast, you two-thirds, you wicked ass people. Y'all ain't got that, man. Y'all go based off like a woman, a fucking uh, emotion, man. You don't try to reason. You don't try to ask questions in a, in a right manner and the right spirit. Try to come up acting like you're the right spirit. We see right through y'all's uh y'all's uh fucking maliciousness, man. And don't be having you, you damn kids, you damn women. No, you, you ain't got no place coming up to us, man. You got a question, you got something that needs to be answered, you can have your husbands come, man. It said, they came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Right, because that, that's that's what they had a problem with. Because they were continue on, they were continuing the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. His legacy, man. The, in, in the book of Sirach, it tells you that uh, even though the father raises up his son and he goes on, he dies, but he it's like he's, if he's not gonna, he leaves his child just like him on earth doing the same thing he was doing. That's how us, we gotta be at the same mind, the same speech, the eye to eye, feet to feet, hand to hand, joint to joint. There ain't no broken bones in these bodies, man. Spiritual sins, there ain't no broken bones in these bodies. All those, all those, all those brothers are in different cities, different states, countries, 
we're still in the same mind. You can't break that, man. You could kill one of us, but another brother's the brother's still gonna do the work. The most size work is still gonna get put out. No matter how hard these devils try to get rid of the truth, they can't get rid of it. This is the time. This is the time that the most size is gonna start allowing truth to flood. But it's gonna be to the point, man, when we get in the kingdom, it's gonna be all over. It's gonna be in the air. It's, you're waking up, you're gonna be dreaming of the truth, man. Breathing, eating, sleeping, it's like they say you eat, sleep, and whatever else, for whatever else you do on this side, you're gonna be doing it over there in the in the in the kingdom, man. What? It said, then came and born and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then went the captain with the officers and brought them without violence. Right, like they 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 call you the cops on us, man. They try to ask us questions or what have you, or tell us to move. Or they'll sit across the street examining us, watching us. Or they'll patrol around us up in the street that go down the streets more than once, you know. Because they want to get rid of us, man. They want to have any reason, they want to have any reason to, to tell us something. Go ahead. It says, then came and told, then came one of, it says, then went the captains with the officers and brought them without violence. For they feared the people, least they should have been stoned. Right, because whether or not you got people that, whether, I mean, the ones that don't, they don't chew the, they're not in the, like in their minds, they're not yet, they, they, they're not against us, but they're not with us at the same time. But they respect that we're doing the work, right? Now, if they were to hear that us brothers were beat, beaten by these cops, you, you know how I many, a lot of people would probably be offended. A lot of people would probably be offended in that. But then you have a lot more people that would enjoy that. But you have people that would be offended, man. So these cops, they gotta be, they, they gotta work, they gotta work right, so to speak. Be crafty about it. People can't just go off because there's repercussions. You have to deal with that man. Right? It's like they were being they were being aware, they can't, they brought them in, they brought the apostles in, not by violence. You know? Hey, well, uh, real quick, there was an example when Yahweh Shah was going through uh, Jerusalem. I think it was the la his last hour, I believe. I'm not sure. Boy, he was walking through the city, and uh, the, the, the chief priests, they, uh, they were even they were being careful because they said there was a great multitude around them to where uh, if they would have laid hands on him, they, were, they would fear the multitude because they all believed on Yahweh Shah. Like the For him saying, to be a prophet. Yeah. It's the same way with uh, John the Baptist. And uh, 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 King or Herod, or was it Herod? I think it was. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was Philip, uh, Herod's brother. He uh, he was afraid to kill John the Baptist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he was afraid to, to 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 hurt John the Baptist until up to the point where uh, his wife Herodias, Herodias, I believe, is the one that had her her daughter. Uh, 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 persuade him into uh, chopping his head off, man. Because he made an oath, a promise on him on the behalf of, of his kingdom that he would do it, or he would give whatever she requested, and that's what she requested. Really, it came from the, his wife, the mother, and, the, and told her daughter that that's what she wanted. But you know, he was he was uh, he was afraid to touch her. Pontius Pilate. Well, yeah, but Pontius his, Pilate. He didn't want to mess with that uh, Yahweh shot. His wife. His wife even had visions. Oh uh, yeah. That was. She said, "Leave this man alone." Pretty much. She was pretty much begging, man, like, "Don't do nothing to him," because ever since he came into the scene, I've been suffering these great things. And that's what happens too with these two thirds. Like these, these two thirds, staying on point. Like they, a lot of things happen to these people, man. We, we have, we, we hear other stories, man, about how. I told this brother, man, there's this one guy that gave me trouble in the past. I found out, man, like within three weeks, man, after all the offending he had done to me on that same week, well, once that week continued, man, I, he ended up getting jumped. He got his car broke. He got jumped like twice. I mean, things happen, man, when you met, when you fight against the most side. But uh, to get back a point, I'm going to continue reading. But uh, real quick, I just wanted to uh, uh, backtrack to what I said. It wasn't Philip. Uh, it was Herod, uh, one of King Herod, 
uh, King Herod the Great's uh, sons. It wasn't Philip, though, that had John the Baptist bound up. I forget his, his name. I believe it begins with the A. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there, you know, just to, uh, you know, make let you know that I'm on, 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 on the right, uh, that I'm not trying to give you bad or misinform you. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is Acts 5 and uh, it's 27. Oh, I'll start at 26 again. Then went the captain with the officers and brought them without violence. For they feared the people, at least they should have been stoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. And the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine. Yeah, just like. Like whenever I was downtown, and the officer that knew me since I was a little boy in elementary, he told me that I could no, I could not go back downtown to, to uh, do this work. That if I was, they would kick me out again, or I could probably be put in jail. Which, like I said last time in prior videos, there, I, I know I can go back down there, but you know, I'd rather just avoid messing with. That area, I mean, they, they're nothing but Edomites down there anyways. So I moved out there, I shook my dust off that place, and, and you know, that, now that we're here. And basically that's what they're trying to stop, this truth. They're not down for the Bible, they're not down for the truth, regardless if people get offended or, or not. You're supposed to stand up for the truth regardless, you know? Said, saying, did we not straight, did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, right, and we know that, like in uh, Revelation 19, it says that uh, his name is the word of God. For lo, I come written in the volume of a book. For lo, I come written in the volume of a book. Right? So this is his name at, in itself, but he has an actual name though. So at the end of the day, they they don't want us speaking in this in his name. They don't want us reading the scriptures, man. The spirit. It says, "Ye have filled Jerusalem with their doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us." Right, and you got people, some people that come up here, and we give them the knowledge, and 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 it, 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 Esau knows, man. That's why Esau got television, he got the radios, you got priests, you got sidekicks, people that have uh, that those themselves with witchcraft. He allows all those people to do that. But when it comes to us speaking about truth, knowledge, to educate our people, he wants us removed. Quick. Right? Because we're giving him something that it knows it's gonna, it's gonna uh it's gonna hurt him. Right? But he ain't doing nothing to all these people, man, that are doing wickedness. It's like, it's like real quick, that, that cop that kicked us off, you probably saw his face, his poker face right here. When he kicked us off, I told his brother, because I was I saw it. He came up and down here for the next few weeks, uh, coming up and down the street, seeing like, like the way these men feel, man. It's like they're looking, they want us to stop, but they're like, man, I, you know, like we tell these people, man, if you kick us off this lot, you're gonna see us down at another lot. Or we get kicked off there, we're gonna be down another lot. It's true. It's true. The serious. If it was a game, man, we would have stopped a long time ago. But we're here, man, and that's why, like, real quick, these police men in San Angelo. They know who us two brothers are, man. They they had our time, their time with us, and they know us, and they mocked us, and they and they constantly wondering their heads like, why is it that you you know you getting arrested or these things happen that you keep coming out here, you know? Th because right like real quick, what it said right here, and it says, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. That's what they're afraid of too, man. Like they know judgment's coming, man. These higher ups, they get or these uh, police, they get their orders from the higher ups and everything. They, they see that that judgment's really coming back and it frustrates the hell out of them. Okay, this is 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse, uh, I'll start at verse 6. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by putting, by the putting of on, on of my hands. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not, there, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. And you know what's beautiful, man? We're not ashamed to bring his testimony out because 
we're not given the spirit of fear, all right? We're given, the Most High is not a fearful power, man. He ain't afraid of these fucking Edomites.